Hey, uh, are you guys able to hear me again? So this is our second talk of the day. Uh, okay, awesome. So this uh, Rashita will be talking um, on how we can create a router using vanilla JavaScript. So over to you, Rashita. So, Rashita, I think you're not audible. Uh, he, are you guys able to hear Rashita? Okay. Yeah, it's fine now. So, what you can do, Rashita, for get a better bandwidth, you can stop your video and you can just be on audio and screen share. Okay. Uh, is it better now? You can hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hey, guys, uh, are you able to hear Rashita? Yes, okay, I see thumbs up. Thumb. Amazing. Okay, yeah, you can go ahead, Rashita. Go with you. Okay. Uh, so, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rashita, and I'm a third year student at Thapa University. And it's so nice to see you all here on a Saturday morning. It's weekend, and it's amazing. I appreciate your motivation to learn. And this is going to be my first tech talk, so I'm quite excited for the same. Um, yeah, so let's start. I'm presenting my screen. I hope you guys can see my screen. Yeah, uh, so building React Router using vanilla JavaScript. I assume you guys have already worked with React and React Router. Because if you have, this is going to be an amazing talk for you. Because you'll get to know how things are actually working behind the scenes of React Router. But if you haven't, uh, this is this talk is going to be a very interesting and smooth story of how you can graduate from thinking about React Router to Vanilla Router, what I say is JS Router. Uh, so just write on and uh, let's start. I, I'm sure you'll get to learn a lot from this talk. Uh, yeah, what to expect? Since you guys are going to spend the next 20 to 30 minutes listening to this talk, it's very important for you to know what you can actually expect from this talk. Uh, so we'll start with what is React Router. So first of all, I'll show you a very, very simple and minimalistic single page application that I built using React and React Router. And we'll see how things are actually working using React Router. And uh, yeah. then we'll see. Rashita, you, your screen uh, sharing has stopped. Uh, is it yeah. fine now? Yeah, it's, it's fine now, yes. It came up. Thank you. Yeah. So then we'll see uh, why do we need router at all. And uh, then we'll implement React Router using vanilla JavaScript. A little bit about me. I've already told I'm third year student at Thapu University. And hey, I'm going Rashita, to internet Salesforce next summer. Rashita, looks like when you are putting on a presentation okay. mode, your uh, screen share is getting stopped. OK, OK. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's, yeah, it's this, right. this is fine now. OK. Yeah. OK, I'll not present now. Uh, so yeah, a little bit about me. I'm going to intern at Salesforce next summers. And I'm a graduate from New Camp. If you don't know about New Camp, it's a, it's a boot camp. If you're very serious about, I guess it's top again. Yeah, so if you're serious about uh, web development, you must go new, no, go and visit uh, various socials at Neoji Camp and just look out on it. 
there are mentor at mentro app uh, if you always regret missing out on different job and internship opportunities you can just go and download this application that is mentro and you can have a chit chat with me there as well um i guess there's some issue and i'm not able to share my screen i'll just get back in 2 minutes just give me 2 minutes Here, Ashita, maybe you can share your entire screen so that uh, when you do a switch, also we can see it. Okay, I hope it will not happen now. yeah so i'm a front end developer and a technical writer so whenever i learn something new i always find it better to write it down as in a form of article or something because it gives me even uh, deeper knowledge about the topic uh so okay let's look at a very simple single page application that i built using react and we'll see how things are working there uh yeah So this is a very simple application. This is a nav bar which has three links to it, three buttons to it. You can say home, about, and then contact section. And this is the uh, rendering section section where the component will get rendered. So let's see how uh, this is working. This is the nav bar section which has three links to it. First one to home, then to about, and then to contact. And then we have this route section. and we'll see how this is working uh so the very first thing uh, that is happening this is the home button when i click on home it goes to this link and when i click on about it goes to about link and let me do that when i click on about the link will change to slash about so we have the path name about here in the url and when i click on uh, click on contact it will change to contacts and secondly in the app body we can see we have a mapping here if the path name it will check the current path name if that is slash it will go and render the element home and from where is this home coming from uh, these are all the elements or all the components i am importing from pages uh yeah see this is a very simple component that it, it's just saying it's home page so when i go to home says it's home page this is a very simple component and yeah these all are just simple components that i'm using in here and this is the mapping that is done from the url to the component that is to be rendered and this is how simply we do things in react router first we change the url and then that particular component gets rendered let me directly change the url to slash about and see what happens so in the app body we'll see uh, that the current path was slash about and this mapping will, will tell the component to be rendered is about component and the about component gets rendered now this is how uh, this was working secondly now this is a uh, this is a very common question i was i was taking interviews a few days back and i asked this question uh, to some people and uh the question was can we make single page application using uh, vanilla javascript so basically the original question was why do we need react router uh, why do we need react at all when everything can be done using javascript so a lot of people said that uh javascript with javascript we cannot make single page applications and this is very wrong answer we can make single page applications using vanilla javascript and i'll be doing that right now So let's move to the code using JavaScript and okay, just a second. Yeah. So this is a very simple HTML file which has nothing but three buttons. 
see home about us and blogs which are doing doing nothing when i click on them this will be adding the functionality now and uh, then i have a dev class root and root will be the actual actually the part where i'll be rendering different components when i click on about us about us component will render when i click on blogs then blogs component will render and then i have a script that is app.js here yeah in in the app.js i have a query selector for the root element which was the dev where i where, where i will be rendering different components then we have uh, query selectors for all the three buttons because we'll be using that and uh, yeah here we have these three components uh so okay so the first thing we are going to do is when i click on home let me show this with a very simple okay. yeah so this is what we are going to do now i have a global variable that is named component to render and it will have the value to the component which i want to render so when i click on home button it should change the value of component to render to home when i click on about it should change to about and when i click on contact it should obviously change to contact so why, why do i need this global variable i'll be checking the global variable and rendering the corresponding component to my web app and uh, this is all will be beginning actually and finally we'll gradually graduate to the url as well so okay so first of all i have home button dot add event listener and i want to change the component to render to home whenever i click on home and similarly i'll have all the three buttons here about button should change it to about and blogs button should change it to blogs uh so yeah we don't know the value of component to render so let's see how if even if this this is working or not and to render So when I click on home, okay. So I didn't save. Oops, my bad. So when I click on home, home is getting rendered. So that means this is coming here. So this is working fine. okay so after changing this what i need to do is um let's make a different function here pick component to render it will check the current url and path that is window dot location dot path name first of all let's see what it has right now we'll have to call this function as well so when i click here i want to console the okay, i'll just call this function path name is slash because this is about uh this is simple home and it's, it's simple slash so what do we need to do with this current path is we need to render the corresponding element if the current path is simply this then i want to 
dot in our HTML should be equal to home. That is what does what does this mean? It will return this thing, and then this will be the inner HTML to the root element we had here. See. We had the root element here, and I'm adding uh, the HTML dynamically from this function. We we'll have to write if the current path is slash about. About or else if this is the last one. If it is the current path is blocks, then the blocks element should get rid of. And we need to call this every time I click a button. After I change the component, so it should be below this. I click on home the home component is getting rendered when i click on about about us okay about us should get rendered blocks okay uh Okay, so we are changing, uh, we are checking the current path, but uh, right now we are not changing the URL. So this will not work. We are checking the current component to render that variable and then doing it. So, okay. Let's do that again. If the current component to render is home, then it should work. Mm, yeah, I guess it should work now. I click on home. Home gets rendered about us. Then, OK, well, now what is not getting rendered? Let me check what's the issue here. The component to render is about. I'm changing it to about, about button. Is that fine? Okay. It's the about. Click on home. I click on blocks, then blocks is getting rendered. But why is this about not working? The component to render is equal to about, then uh, should, is it, is it about us? Yes, the component is about us. Fine. When I click on home, home is getting rendered. When I click on about us, about us component is getting rendered and blocks, blocks is getting rendered. So how is this working? When I click on home, the value of this global variable that is component to render is changing to home. Initially, it is home. But when I go to about us, this changes to about. And when I again come to home, this changes to home. And then after every click, we are checking which component to render. It will check if the component to render that variable value is home. It will render the home element. If it is about, it will render the about us element. If that is block, if it will render the blocks element so this is a very very simple simple page application which we have already built using javascript so if anyone asks asks you why do you need react it's, it's not just for uh, making single page applications the real answer is a little different it's it's about um, it's about the the it, it's fast because of the virtual dom concept I uh, will not will not go deep uh, deep into it because it's out of the scope of this talk right now. Uh, so yeah, we don't need to change the component every time we click here. 
see the url is not changing but what do we need we want to change the url and then pick the current path name and then uh, render the component so we'll be changing uh, okay one more thing before that when i reload this nothing is showing up so i need to check component dot render for the first render this will come up it's working fine now okay uh, so now i don't need i don't want to change the component as such i want to change the url and to change the url let's make another function and let's say link link will pick up the destination path and we have window history dot push state and we need to pass a state here, then the current path, and then the destination path. This is what we need to pass here. And what is the current path? Current path is equal to window dot location dot path name. This is actually the current path name. It will be slash or will be slash about or will be slash blocks here. And what is the state? Now, state can be anything, uh, but we'll take it from the run path because, in case we want to redirect, redirect is yet another feature that we can implement using JavaScript as well, and we have it in the React out as well. So, in case of redirects, we'll, we'll need to have this state here, and this is what we are passing here. Then we have the current path, which is the uh, path we are going from and then the destination path we are going to so okay when i click on about i want to link it to this path now let's see if that happens okay yeah so when i click on about the url is changing to about so this is what I want. But even now, it is not checking uh, the URL to render components. It's again checking this variable only, component to render the global variable. So we'll move to it. But let's let's change the URLs for now for the block section as well, blocks, and for the home. And now, uh, what is happening when I click on home, when I click on about, or when I click on blogs? Let me save it again. When I click on home, it's slash. When I click on about us, it's slash about. When I click on blogs, it's slash blogs. Uh, so now I want to. Check the current path. This is what we'll need now. I'll check the current path from the URL and then see if the current path is slash. I'll render home. If the current path is slash about, I'll render about us. And if it is slash blocks, I'll render block section. Let me comment this out now. I go to home, I go to about a section. This is working. Let me delete the global variable and this to show you it's actually working from the URL and not from the next. Yeah, so it's working. So when I click on about us, 
it will change the URL first, and then it will check which component to render. Inside which component to render, it will take in the current URL, and then it will render the element or the component that is corresponding to that, that we have mapped in through that. Uh, now, yeah, this was the basic version of React Router, which we have already built using uh, JavaScript. So let's see, this can be expanded a lot, and we can add so many things in here. Um, yeah. So I, I took this link out. See if uh, so we need to check check a little bit lit, little bit things before we actually say that we have implemented it right. If the current destination path is equal to the destination path, then we need to return. We do need to push the state to the history. What is this doing? It is pushing our new state to the history stack. We have a history stack in the browser. So see now if I go back, it will go back to home. If I go next, it will go to about. If I go to blogs, I go to about us. I'll go back. I should go to the blogs. And here we are with the blog section. So, uh, and again, if we click on about two times, I don't want to push that to this history stack two times. So, so I'm returning from here if the current path is equal to the destination path. Uh, then we have check render, and it's yeah the main part is route here. What is route? In the app, I am uh, simply just putting in. Uh, I'm mapping the URLs to the component that I want to render, and this is where it's going. I'm creating a new map, and then I'm, I'm I am setting that path to the component that I need to render on that path. So this is a very simple thing. And then again, I'm putting in the link. For, uh, a link is telling where the URL will go to, where the URL will change to. And this is the simple routing. And then we have uh, more functionalities like auth. And you can do a lot, actually, with this. So let me show you. Just a second, yeah. This is home. This is just to show that uh, we can uh no do the templating part as well so when i go to about the section it goes to about when i go to blogs it says you need to log in first so when i click on login it says you have logged in successfully and then i can see the blog section if i am logged out and blogs is a private route i will not be able to see the blogs until and unless i log in so when i click on login and go to blogs i can see the blogs page so yeah, there are a lot of features that we can implement. And this code is already pushed to GitHub. So you guys can see it from there. And I am sure you learn a lot. And then, yeah, why is it important to go deep? There are a lot of frameworks. You know, some of you might be working on Angular. I work, work with React. And some other day, some another framework will come up. And it will be better than React or Angular or Vue. But the main functionality, the main thing, how things are working, it will always remain the same. So it's very important to know how things are actually working under the hood. Just remove all the abstractions and build your own version of things. Like I tried to build my own version of React Router. I built my own version of a component library with React. And uh, this actually gives you a sense of um, understanding that, that you know how things are working. You can implement then you're uh, on your own without using any framework or any abstractions. And you can even build your own versions and maybe improve the better the, the existing versions. So yeah, it's in fact, it's quite interesting to go in deep. Yeah, finally, thank you for listening to me. If you want to have discussion about anything, you can ping me on Twitter. And um, this is my GitHub profile. Or you can even mail me for anything you want. So I'll be stopping my sharing now. Yeah, and thank you, JavaScript Meter, for giving me a chance to um, give this talk. Hey, thank you, Rashita. Uh, I think this was pretty good talk. Uh, uh, I love when speaker shows up code and do a live coding. Uh, live coding is not easy. I know, and you did that. Uh, I'm really glad for that. 
so i think people are asking for your github link and all i mean you can post that uh, oh, sure. uh, just a second here so that they can refer or you can uh, post in our uh, discord group also if you're there so it's my github and my twitter link you can ping me anywhere You're on mute. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, so there are some questions, Rashita. Uh, would you like to take them? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. That's fine also. Okay, so what happens when you hit the slash blog link directly in the URL bar? The okay uh, so that is basically uh, i need to uh, write route it redirect it so whenever i go to slash blogs directly and i try to uh, enter the element it will not go there because this is how uh, it takes it will first go to the uh, to the index.html and see if that's if there is something and it is always dot slash so it will always look for dot slash uh, component but because my my url is slash blocks so it will not render it so there are some settings you need to do just one simple file called the redirect it will make it work you can just there okay, are and then there are a lot of blocks already there with this issue so it's it's very easy to resolve so you can check it out Okay, so one more question, which Jatin is asking, what is routes? What is routes? Uh, okay, in uh, in router, in React router, we have the routes component, which encloses all the routes. And it's just how uh, it is in React router, because it's, a, it's an abstraction. So that's how things are working behind the scenes for them. But we don't need that. If you are working in Rampart. Awesome. So with this, I think we are uh, close to our today's meetup. And uh, thank you guys for joining us uh, on Saturday morning. Uh, so stay tuned, stay connected over our Discord, where uh, you get all the latest updates of what we are going to do. So next big thing which we are planning to do is our book reading on uh, scopes and closer by some of the javascript experts so uh, stay tuned on our discord channel for uh, further updates on this so thank you all have a great weekend and thank you rashita it was a nice talk i'll say live coding uh, from you and i loved it so uh, thank you all and have a great day have a great weekend bye 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 guys <laughs>